Oh, oh my god. god! You should never open this. Dude, it's literally like my heart. Just stop the recording. I am the devil. Dead. Right there, what's going on? Never, right? Ever on tour? Not once? The most fucking craziest connection ever. Yeah! You are opening it! Oh! oh. You think you could do that to me? If you open that, you're pretty much releasing hell. What's up and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We're in the UK oh. right now. That's why we're with Dan. You if you missed know. all of our videos on the UK series last time, we had quite a fun time filming with you. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, yeah, it changed my life forever. Pendle well, Hill. Pendle, Pendle Hill was Pendle. still one of the oh. best best experiences ever. Josh, you don't even know. Yeah. I, I'm don't missing don't out. Know. I'm missing out. And now we have Josh here. I'm excited. This is going to be a good day. It's going to be it's good. We're filming tomorrow night as well. So yeah, we got another true. video tomorrow night that we're filming. Yep. But of course tonight we are back. <sighs> Ancient the Ram House. Ancient Ram Inn. Yeah. Where we only spent like four hours at last time. That was enough. So. Four hours. And Loki was enough. Yeah. enough. That's That's enough. It. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Last time was pretty like messed up. But now we have it till eight in the morning. Oh, perfect. So so we might get hurt here, maybe. Let's try. So, okay. Oh, should we go? Should we go inside? Probably. Yeah. Any last words? Ooh, each of us should think of a last word. Okay, okay just one last word? Yeah. Just one? Yeah. Um, I got mine. No. Go. Right. Word. Okay. Good. Buy the merch. That's, 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 that's three words. words. Oh, oh, oh right. Okay. One word. So my, <laughs> okay. My this word is hard. One word. <laughs> All right, this one's hard, okay. Uh, okay, um, mine's going to be uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Mm. That's my last word. Uh, queef. You toss a wanker. Yeah, wanker. <laughs> wanker. Well, let's, let's, do, let's, do a little, let's do a little contest for people that are watching. Okay. Let's see if anyone can comment letter by letter wanker in a row. Oh, and the oh, first one they gotta be like that. W, comment A, comment N, N comment K, K comment e, e, comment R, R, comment boom, wanker. And then they get free merch. Yeah. Okay. And then they get free That's merch. That's a challenge. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. You can comment wanker in one shot, you get free merch. <laughs> That's wanker. a good challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. that's good. All right, should we go in? Yeah, I know we should go in. Yeah. The ancient Ram Inn, the most haunted home in England, was built in 1145. It served as a priest's residence, inn, and public house, now sitting as the oldest building in England's Watton Under Edge. It is known to sit atop of two ley lines, which are believed to be channels of flowing spiritual energy, and when combined, enhance the power source and activity of the other side. These same ley lines can be mapped directly into the historically sacred location, Stonehenge, allowing free-flowing energy to travel this spiritual highway. During its initial phase of life, the property was used to house those working on the church across the street. One of the key tasks was diverting existing streams of water around the church and the Ram Inn, theoretically creating a flowing portal of energy full circling the property. And directly in the center of the timeline of the Ram Inn were the infamous witch trials that swept throughout England, with one in particular directly tied to this location. In the 1500s, a witch was burned at the stake, yet her last place of refuge prior to being captured and executed was the Ram Inn. She now has her own room within the property, aptly titled The Witch's Room, as she is known to haunt all of those who enter her sanctuary. Yet beyond its near 900-year-old structure, the Ram Inn is placed upon a 5,000-year-old pagan burial ground. There is no doubt that the history of the ancient Ram Inn is complex and layered in the soil and mortality of it. But the modern hauntings and stories of terror that brought us here today began in the late 1960s by a man named John Humphreys who wished to protect the historical building and then called it his own home. He had numerous claims of the vicious hauntings that would torment him during his sleep, violently dragging him out of bed and across the room. Yet even still, he persisted to call this place his home. Determined to not give up his pledge to preserve the ancient Ram Inn, he continued to sleep in the home and to be awoken in the middle of the night by demonic activity. He stayed there alone, as his wife and three daughters refused to stay with him. As each night he fought to survive, he would spend his days finding answers to what tortures him in the evening. Evidence was found of ritual sacrifice, devil worship, and the skeletal remains of children underneath a staircase. Alongside of the remains, broken daggers believed to be used in this horrific ritual, left in a manner so that whatever evil may have been summoned could never be undone. The hauntings documented in the ancient Ram Inn vary to an extreme level, with their reasons for occurring being equally as horrific. The former innkeeper's daughter is believed to be hung in the attic. The spirits of the unknown amount of children that were murdered here are now known to roam the home. Centuries worth of various exorcisms and dark practices have compiled here to accumulate a near visible darkness 
that consumes this property. The bishop's room is considered to be the most haunted of them all, where those meant to represent the good and the light were abusing their power and inflicting atrocious treatment upon those they were meant to protect. The alleged occurrences that took place here are too graphic for us to share. During the time in which John would sleep in the main part of the home, he reported that an incubus and succubus would haunt and inflict their terror upon him and anyone who would dare stay overnight. The evidence documented here and feelings visitors immediately acquire upon entering are immense. The stories John shared is only heightened by the thousands of guests that have had paranormal encounters here as well. Being shoved while walking up the stairs, dark entities appearing in a near arrogant stance during photographs. The cries of children, screams of the man who was murdered here by having his head thrown into a burning fireplace, orbs amassing instantly and moving freely in addition to the hundreds of pieces of scientific paranormal evidence are all reasons why the ancient Ram Inn claims and lives up to being the most haunted home in England. The mummified cats and skeletal remains of children, in addition to the lengthy history this plot of land provides, leaves the ancient Ram Inn as a remarkably complex and condemning building for the evil that manifests within it. John Humphreys lived in this home for more than 50 years until he passed away in 2017. The home is now owned by his family and remains open for visitors, with most of which being paranormal investigators looking to test their will to endure the hauntings of the ancient Ram Inn. Tonight, we will attempt to bear just one night in this legendary home. If you hear or see anything during this video, please leave a comment and let us know. We are now planting one tree for every new subscriber with the goal of one million trees by the end of 2023. So make sure to subscribe. Yeah, it's, you been, too. it's been a year. A year already. A little, yeah. I think September last year was when we were here. Oh, welcome back to so, England. Yeah, wow. yeah. And, and the Ram Inn. It, <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to start it off, right? <laughs> it is. This is one of the most haunted houses in in England, and uh, you, you're going to love it here tonight. Uh, you're very brave, actually, coming come into mm. this place. Right. If I recall correctly, at Woodchester, is that not yeah. the place where you were possessed on it the is. top floor? That's the one. Yeah. And yet, you say this is more haunted. Than Woodchester. What I find with this place is it's just dark. <laughs> it's yeah. serious. It's I struggle to believe this is darker than Woodchester. I saw Corey cry at Woodchester. Yeah, yeah but for that me, was that's legit. like. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, I'm talking. Man, he's talk, calling Corey a baby. He's this was spicy off taco camera. on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm more scared of here really? than I am that place, and it's because that place it was the mirror yeah. that did that to me. But this place, you can, eat, like you said, you literally just feel the evil. Well, obviously, we've been here before, but we came with Dan as our guide, and we kind of came here very late in the evening. Things didn't go as planned that day. Right. So, I mean, if you want to... And you're back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just, I feel like we didn't, yeah. for how much history is here and notoriety, the yeah. four hours we spent here wasn't enough. Um, leading through into what would have been the, the bar area when this, when this wasn't in, this, this is quite an active area in itself. There's uh, two apparitions that have been reported stood either side of the fireplace. The one is the lady in blue. She's been called Elizabeth. It's said that she was killed by a local highwayman and that's why her ghost still haunts the place, whether her body was dumped within the building. People have been scratched. I mean, you, you see it physically. Uh, well, as we had you just on. said, yeah, though, you, even your wife or whatever was scratched. Yeah. A few hours ago. Yeah. A few hours ago, yeah. Yeah, so. she was just up with um, with Sam. They were just walking around. They heard a growl. They called me up and uh, we were walking around. I heard it uh, from the <laughs> other room. Um, I went back down. They heard it for a third time. I went outside waiting for you guys and they both come down and Sam had watched Melissa scratched as she was just walking down to the, the toilet area, which is just down some steps opposite the bishop's room. She said she saw that Melissa went out and this red line just come come up on and out. I mean, I've got a photo of it, I can show you. If you yeah, want. that's from right now. That's from less than three hours ago. Damn. I mean, that's the, you can see the, the pretty, size of the scratch. It's right? pretty prominent. And that's the closer. Wow. Uh, whenever she comes here, uh, she gets scratched. The last time it was three marks and as I was saying earlier on the scratches are even under the bra strap. But think about that the scratch is under the bra strap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is almost like getting scratched from inside or something. Yeah. I yeah. wonder how that's even like yeah. possible. Wow. They, they just appeared and, and the lines just run run straight down through. 
Insane. And it's, I mean, hate to explain that. No job ritual with this room, don't you? You would always knock three times, you'd go. Yeah. Is there anyone there? They do that three times. And then that would allow him to open the door and he would walk in and make the sign of the cross to protect himself. So what if this time when we go in here, we just don't do the ritual and we go in without the cane knocker? This is so many options for you. Why are you putting me as the can mirror you, guy? Can you go and scry in all eight mirrors in one night? No, this isn't a TikTok challenge. <laughs> <laughs> the scrying challenge? So this is the bishop's room, which is reportedly the most active part of the building. We pulled out of beds, the beds would be shaken. People just left this room terrorized and, and would never come back. I mean, some people even left this room and went straight to a church to get themselves exercised because Damn. they were so frightened as to what they had experienced within this part of the building. So the, the atmosphere can be very oppressive in here as well tonight, so. Uh, what are the things you should not do in this room? What do you mean, not do? Yeah, like what are the things like people are warned to not do? Uh, it always said to don't goad anything, but I mean, unless you actually, I always like to goad spirits, especially in the evil places where the energies are darker. I mean, they're, they're nasty people, so it's, I feel it's okay to be quite nasty back. So, do you want me to show you? influence. What do you do? Do you want me to show you not what to do? Yeah, just you, Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll show you what you should never, ever do, okay? You should never come over to the fireplace. You should never Reach in. Was that? Wait, what? No, These I was gonna keep this a secret. Witchcraft items with pentagrams on. You what? should never. What? I didn't ever. want to freak you guys out. I did not want to freak you guys out. You should never open this. No, I thought you were just making a joke, yeah, like you too. should never do this, and then you actually you opening it. I was actually. Do it, never though? open this. When I first started investigating this building, John used to have an original block of wood, hundreds of years old, with a strange carving splitting it in two. And John said what they would used to do, they would take their victim's hair, unknown, place it in between the two blocks of wood, seal it together, you would put it in the crack in the fireplace and light the fire, and that would burn the hair and form the hex oh. on that person. This is modern day, which somebody's done, and you can see it's what been sealed with the pentagram. So it's a binding, it's some a kind binding of binding spell. spell. So it's been binded with rope inside, uh, sealed with the pentagram and the lid. So if you open that, you're pretty much releasing hell. It's, it's the person <laughs> who opens it. Yeah. You don't know what that spell is. We're assuming it's a binding spell because because of the, the rope and the binding around right. whatever's in there. But the person who opens it, mm -hmm that spell could then affect you. If it's not a binding spell, it could be something completely dark and evil. You don't know what you're messing with. There's another one. Yeah. Oh my God, wait, is there one for each of us? Is it like Christmas right now? <laughs> what? Do I need a light? I don't think that's Christmas at all. I don't know. Wait, are there <laughs> Elton's Christmas? These messed up. How long have they been here? Where, where did you grab that from up there? Yeah, they came from up there. Dude, like I- I think- I thought that was a joke. Yeah, I have a cool idea. Yeah? What if Elton opens one or two of them tonight? Dude, no. I'll, I'll double fist them. No. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, I'll just bite the lid back and yeah. just twist it open. Okay, it's the right time to tell you that that fireplace, uh, a man was murdered in that fireplace. His uh, The lit fire, his head was pressed down into the fire and he died a most excruciating death. It was and it said that his energies are the ones that terrorise people on the beds over there. Here's the deal. <laughs> What deal? What do you mean here's the deal? Look, you look into eight crying mirrors, I won't open the door. <laughs> so he's saying he, that's the only way. He's gonna open it regardless. You no, you're it. not allowed to open it. Come this. on, the TikTok challenge, scry or cry, 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag overnight. <laughs> okay, wait, do you, does anyone know how long those jars have been in there? We don't know. Don't open them. Here's the thing, we'll open it. <laughs> we'll pour in some caffeine. No. <laughs> Drink from it. No. You know what I mean? There's Just no need. Get There's... those juices flowing. No, this place is haunted, <laughs> right? Yeah. So we don't need to open that to spike activity. It's already haunted. This, See, is, this is our first paranormal investigation without 25 or sorry 18 people with us so now we can actually do like what we want not feel like we're gonna put anyone else in danger okay. now we just put our friends in danger yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
done, dude. No. <laughs> Chris, would you mind facing me? And can you guys all look at the back of his head real quick? Yeah. Did you notice that? Notice what? Look at the back of his head. No one sees it. Well, like the the three black marks on the back of his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. What's that though? I don't know. Three black marks. So you have three black marks oh, yeah, on the back do. of your head. I just yeah. noticed it from this angle. I just yeah, you do. Oh. Yeah, you do. You like oh, legitimately so have three black marks yeah, one, on the back two, of your three. head. Can you take a flashlight? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I literally just noticed it when way? you turned I a little bit towards me. Well, yeah. No way. Yeah, you see? Yeah, I literally was sitting there and I was like, I was trying to figure out how you had a shadow like that on your head. I was like, it's not a shadow. It's yeah, saying, it's, do it's not right. open me. It says, do not open the jars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's in braille, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta feel this. <laughs> you sure? I just feel that again. <laughs> Don't open the jars. Come on, dude. Tell some fun. When was the last time they were open? Do you know? Me? Never. 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 Yeah. Never. Yeah. never. never. Maybe never. never. Oh. Never. Like a yeah. witch. I'll, made I'll that. pour some. I mean, Red never say never, you know. Pour some Red Bull. You know what I mean? Drink it. Drink it down. Get those juices in me. Get them flowing. You know. The you demons would die. Are, the demons been sleeping for a while. Give them a little caffeine. You would little, die. A little pick me up. Does anyone else feel sick or anything in this room right now, though? Nope. Feel great. I feel sick. I my stomach's hurting and my ribs hurt. It's just very weird. <laughs> and I was fine out there, but like since. Two minutes in here, like literally, like my top rib, yeah. and like I just have really bad stomach pain. Need a little demon juice, some demon juice. It'll help settle. You know what I mean, help settle your stomach. Like a monster. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Could we put all the mirrors outside? <laughs> <laughs> if I do the scrying mirror, just one. If I do one scrying mirror, will you not open the jars? No. Eight. 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 Come on. Would it count if we made a circle of mirrors around me? That let's, sounds scary. Yeah, let's do that. Great idea. Deal. I'd actually do that. Really? What the f I would do that. Really? Yeah. Like a No, because in mirrors. five minutes I'm gonna be like, I would never do that. <laughs> That's true. If, if you go along room. through the attic space over there, you're directly above the bishop's room. And there is actually a gap between the the flooring up here and the wall where you could actually jump down from here into the bishop's room. That's but this this room, room was Car Caroline's bedroom, John's daughter, and she had a huge wooden wa wardrobe in this room. And the story John always used to tell us of was of the noise that they were hearing, the banging from this room one afternoon. And when they come up the stairs to investigate, the wardrobe was wedged in the stairwell. It had been moved on its own. Wow. So uh, they, they could never explain that. But on the bright side, Corey, that counts as three. <laughs> so you got another one over there. So. Perfect. And you got, yeah, that one. And Corey, oh, number four. Oh, I'm actually about to throw up right now. I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs real quick. So we have the eight mirrors. I'm sorry. So hey, have a great night. Yeah. Yeah. Starting good already. Corey's gonna yeah, throw so up. We're all off to a great start. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing phenomenal. Yeah, where, where is Corey? He's he he just yeah. went downstairs on the phone. Was that one of y'all? What? Yeah. The can? Dude, there's something moving in here. Did you just hear that? It just went. <gasps> what was that? Did you hear the can pop? Like it sounded like when like a Coke can like pops. And then I heard. <sighs> Did you hear that? What? There was like, it sounded like a Coke can popping. And then someone went <sighs> in here while we were just standing right there. Negative. Also, I don't feel sick at all anymore. Oh, it was literally just that room. Just that one room? Yeah. Dang. So that's something's up there affecting you. Yeah. As soon as he said all the Ouija boards were up there, I was like, You're getting Oh, they're up there? There's Ouija yeah. boards? That's what he said. I highly advise you don't open them. But why? Like, what would happen? It could be untold trouble for you. I really couldn't say. You're going to open it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing to do with it. <laughs> you have been warned. I've opened, like, what, what am I at? 17 Divic boxes? Really? Done boxes. Let's do jars. Let's move on. Come on. You know? 
<laughs> then next we'll do like Gogurt packages. I don't know. We'll just, we'll just keep moving down. Okay. A Terra pack. You're braver than yeah. me. The you animals. So much braver than me. <laughs> do you want to go take another look at the jars? It's yeah, not going to change it. my mind at all. Okay. But like, I'm also curious to know what you said. As long as you don't open it with here's, me in the room, that's the thing. Fine. How about you? You go up with one of them with okay. the jars. I will never hear. Don't tell me a single thing she says about it. Okay. And that way, if anything lines up, it lines up. Okay. Right? Yeah, smart. Can I or, go with or, her? Or what if, what if, yeah, I was going to say, what if only you two went and that way the rest of us have yeah. no idea? I would like to go. Why? I but want it's to. It's going to scare you more. No, <laughs> we, no. Yes. Are you going to open it? Yes. You are not opening it. Yes. You are not opening it. Yes. You are opening We're it. We're 13 minutes into the video. I'm opening the jar. <laughs> I think he's like in the job. It's probably better you don't go up because if it is something bad, you don't want to know about it. That's true. Okay, right? question. <laughs> if I'm outside of the house while he opens it, can it still affect me or attach to me? No. Open it, Daddy. You should be fine. Open it. It should be. Should. It should be. It should be fine. It should be fine. It just again, it depends. See, they are binding. They're definitely binding spells because of the way they're A, contained and the way that they're bound with all this but string. What, what would be inside that he's opening up? There are so many different herbs. If it's a hex, it could be bones, there could be hair. I would highly advise not to. I don't even like holding it because we don't know the intention. As you know with magic, the intention is the most important thing behind the spell. All right, we have a ton of new tools that have never been seen before on this channel. Uh, one of which we are allowed to borrow tonight. It's uh, the UK version of the Ovilus. Pretty much. And we have yeah. the Flux here. We have footstep detectors, REM pods, flashlights, motion sensors, our Ovilus, the Panasonic DR60, REM pods, more, Spirit Box, SS Method, like everything is here. But I think we'll probably just explain how things work as we start to use them. Yeah. But yeah. where do we want to start? But we uh, downstairs work our way up. I mean, it makes sense, yeah, it right? Make sense. I mean, everything here is perfect. You have the best tools. Let's do it. Okay. Ready? All right. Yep. Yeah, we have so many good tools. We don't even need, need to, to open, open the jar. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do the ma chant when we close the veil. Okay. Which means you have to hold my hands later. Well, then you better f put on gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do we have to do this? I don't know. I'm just making it real. 19 nice. Divic boxes later. Here we go. Do you even know what to do? Do you know what to do for the no, mantra? No, no, no. Okay. So we're just going to go. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> ma, 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 one, two, three. Ma. Ma. Fuck, dude. My nice. anxiety is so high. Is it? Yes. So one device is down there. That's good in case someone does come no. through. We're gonna hear it. Where goes on the floor? Yeah, it's on the floor. So if someone steps in here, it goes. Obviously, you know, it goes. It triggers both sides. Yeah. So it's gonna cover the entire thing. So brand new. These are uh, the Flux Two devices, and there's sensors on either side. Yep. So there you go. That's green. If you go to the other side, so it's motion, or it's yes no, as in green is yes, red is no. And then there's sensitivity settings on it, which is crazy because you can either get it to scan like this far or it'll go like 25 feet. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's amazing. amazing. I really do love that. And then eventually they fade away. So Boop. you'll hear it or see it. All right. Yeah. This, so this is like the ovulus. So it's going to, you know, picks up any words. It's going to say it out here. Oh, it's getting one now. Centuries. Centuries. This place is probably a... God, I mean, centuries old. Centuries. Yeah. 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 What are you doing? What are you... All right. 
Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What is this for? Cry or cry, round one of eight. Yeah, if there is room. I can hear, wait, hold on, let me make it easier. <laughs> Wide screen. There you go, the guys. Natural, Look at that. Natural one you have a problem. I have a solution. This is so <laughs> trippy. I'm not even playing. Like, it is really weird is to look really at each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, this looks fake. Is it bad if we open the jars? Oh, here it goes. Multiple. Multiple. Multiple jars. He's talking about the jars. It's only bad if we open multiple jars. Yeah. No, so, you're opening both, you said. I mean, yeah, but, you know, you'll be fine until the second one's open. Yield means like surrender. Yield. Yale? Yale. Y-E-I-L-D. Oh, what's that? Right there, it's going off. Right there, you can see it. Someone just walked in here. Oh, yeah. Yield means like surrender, like, that side, like it, back down. It says yield, yeah, back down to your question about opening the jars and a sign just went off right there. Yeah, someone just walked in the room on the yeah. hand side by the mirror, close to the door. So what does that mean? It's saying like, like that. down from, from upstairs. Did you just come from upstairs? It's green on the left side. They walked in it and they're on the other side. They're probably yeah, yeah, in that corner right now. I just got freezing. Yeah, I'm yeah, the same goosebumps. All right, three, two. Ancient Rim in the barn. Is there any warnings that you want to give us about the jars upstairs? in the fireplace in the bishop's room. What is your name to the person who just walked in here five minutes ago? How many jars or demonic objects are in the fireplace upstairs? We heard that someone's been thrown against a wall in this barn. Do you think you could do that to me? One step closer. Literally is the next. Yeah. And I wasn't trying to say anything because of that. Does it sound like multiple people yeah. are talking yeah. out Does, there? Yeah, sometimes <clears throat> I think I hear stuff upstairs. Dude, as soon as you said that, that went yeah. off now. And it's one step closer. Yeah. Which means the this, should be this. The, this should be the next one to go off. Get out! It's a get out so loud! What the hell is that? Someone's been thrown against the wall in his barn. You think you can do that to me? Yeah, it's one step closer. Literally, it's the next one. Yo, this is what's the f***ing f***ing cop footsteps. I have never heard that f***ing before. They were screaming. Bro, we gotta play that again. Bro, that's it so caught, it caught no, footsteps. No. no, but that scream. That, that scream was, was so demonic. evil. Elton, go like this. Go. But look, look at, look at Dan. Do, do it again. Do it one more time towards Dan. Oh! oh I told you, dude. Next one up. Bro, I, why? This, this I, I saw real. like mist Bro, this come out of your f mouth. I saw mist come out of your mouth. <laughs> it should be cold enough in here for that. No, it's no. definitely not. Dude, but I literally called it. I know you did say that. I said that. next one up is gonna be the box. Really? The footsteps. Right. Never. Never, right? Ever on tour? Not once? No. You never. Push. Never caught footsteps. The shout. And it happened right before. Dude, that's really it's fucking shout at someone's name. <laughs> what was that? Screaming, it says? Does it say the word screaming? Screaming. That wasn't you? What the f***? That actually wasn't you. Oh, oh my god! Wait, what was it me? That wasn't you that said the screaming. That word no. said screaming. Screaming is so clear in this. Scream that I thought that was you and I was waiting for you to talk because I don't remember what you said. But the first time you spoke was when I said, I didn't want to say anything because of that. Which means the scre whoever said screaming wasn't us. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Was that any of us? No, no. Right? When you hear like bop, 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 
they're walking closer, and then you hear like a full word. Word. That's Scream. the shit that I'm like, let's go. I'm screaming devil? Wait. Screaming the devil! That's like class A EVP. Yeah. That's like top tier shit. Great A. That was one of the coolest sequences, like I one, two, I mean, three, one. Four. Literally yeah. I ask, can you do that to me? That goes off, and I go, logically it's moving this way. And we get wrong. that we get the footsteps as that goes off, and then this. I, just, I mean, that's a good, yeah, that's real shit. Either way, what we got is so good, so yeah. I don't I don't care if we even moved on from this yeah. room or kept going. Let's just move upstairs, I don't know. Yeah. Let's just go right closer to the source. You want to go in the bishop's room? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, are, are you supposed to knock before you go in here? With the, with the cane. All right, cool. No, with the cane. Yeah, no, I got you. I you. <laughs> Excuse me. He said like I got you and it was Is there anyone in here? We're coming in. Two new tools with us right now. This is an eddy meter. Right now it's on vibration mode. So here. It'll go off. It's also got the temperature on it. And then this is the new one, footstep tracker, which is nice because when you, oh. turn, when you turn it on, so it'll mark events too. So even if you're not there, when you come back to it, it'll tell you how many times it's gone off, but event is 20 seconds apart from each other. So you can see it like spiking. So we come to the room where you were hiding. Do you want us to open those jars? Yeah, maybe let's ask different questions. Yeah, maybe let's ask something else outside of the drawer. Okay. Are you a very spiritual person or spirit? Could you tell me what your religion is? Is there a demon in this room? I didn't knock on the door before coming in here. How does that make you feel? Is there a room you want us to go to? If there is, clearly tell us which room you want us in. Did y'all hear laughter and talking yeah. while we were just doing that? I no, heard, I, didn't I, hear heard, I heard, I heard. <laughs> Cap ball right here on the bed, just went off. None? You're already here. I kinda, already here. Already here. I hear already, already here. Already here. here. Yes, he like what room do you want us in? Already here. Bishop's room again. Whoever is here with us right now, we have a device that's right there that I'm pointing to that will allow you to talk to us. We'll be able to hear you. If you come right up to that device and talk to it, we'll be able to hear you. So I'm gonna ask you a question. What room do you want us to go to? Just talk politely and we'll understand you. But did you say dining hall? Or if you can, tell us which room to go to. If you are in this room, can you tell me what item I'm holding right now? Can you tell me what your name is? There are jars by the fireplace or inside. 
Can we open those jars? I'm going to play something. And I want you to tell me if you want me to stop it. Either you can scream or speak. You want us to keep playing that music. I think it shut off. It died. <clears throat> no, it died. It's done. What? I don't know how Wait, it... no, it just stopped the recording. Really? It didn't die. It stopped itself. It stopped itself. Look, it's still on. What? It just stopped. Bro, you said don't. If you want it to stop, let me know. And it's just stopped the recording. Like, I've had enough. There are jars by the fireplace or inside. Can we open those jars? 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 Can we open those You know what it almost sounded like? Stop there. It sounded like screams. Screaming. Of hell. It sounded like peep like dozens of people from far away screaming. Well, it sounds like that, that, that. Have you ever heard that um, the sounds of hell? Where they sent a microphone. Yes. Down. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. Can we play it back, but slower? Said this one. Attic. Attic? Does that sound like attic? Attic. Attic! Attic! <laughs> Clear as day. Attic. What was that? That said like a girl's voice. It said like, help. I heard. Oh, did it say help? I heard. Mm -hmm. And yes, when you were feeling sick, where you almost threw up, was the attic. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Before we go up, I want to try one thing in here. Okay. <clears throat> we've done it. We've done stuff like this before. I want someone to hold the jars while doing the S's method. Someone has to hold the jars? Yeah, because I, it's it's kind of like when I put my hand on a Dybbuk box, or when Jonah held what? the idols at Stanley no. Hotel. Someone mm -hmm. should hold them. Yeah, they well, should. Or do, S, <laughs> do S's method, whoever does it, should do S's method not holding them. Then a few minutes in, hold them. Hold them. See if it changes. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah, All that's right, a really okay. good idea for them to do that. It Let's is. try it. <laughs> what if we do like a fair thing, where like it could be anyone, like about, a rock, paper, scissors yeah. game? Yeah, except for me, because I'm the one that's going to open them. I really yeah. don't think it makes sense if I do it. The only way you lose 
is if two other people do the same thing that beat you. It's so, true. so like one beating each other doesn't work. But I shouldn't even be in this. Yeah, game. you should. Yeah. Why? It makes no sense. Why not? It makes the most sense. You should be of anyone the one holding the jars because you're the one who doesn't want to hear anything evil. So then, if you do, it really validates and reinforces that it has that much power to go through a person and say evil things, even though psychologically you're like, I don't want to hear devil. Uh huh. I but agree. I, dude, I agree. <laughs> so that was a tie. Ready? Tie. Yep. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. That was a tie, tie again. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> oh, it's ah! okay. Yeah! Yeah! God is real. Yes. He loves me. Oh, I'll make you a deal, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've, got, I've got an idea, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Right, well, you do the essence method and I will hold them. Can we do that? That doesn't make sense, though. It's the person listening that needs to hold them. How about this? <laughs> you do the essence. He sits in your lap holding the jars. All right, I'm going to right. pay. <laughs> okay. That's the method without the jars. Yeah. See if anything changes, then grab the jars. Yeah, right? that's true. That makes more sense. Right. Yeah. Fire away. Right, it's going on. If there's someone in this room, could you please tell us your name or whatever you'd like to be called? What? <laughs> looks like his eyes are close to the mask. <laughs> yeah, looks like almost like black eyes that we got punched so hard they fattened up. Almost Is the devil here? I saw you. Is the devil here? I saw you. Where did you see us? Who's that? Is the devil in the attic? Okay. See? It's only when you ask about the devil do you get a response. What was the temperature before? He said no. Holy sh! It went up five degrees. It was, it was sixty-four, good. right? It was no, it was sixty-two. Sixty-two or something. Shit. It's almost sixty-eight. Dude, is it gonna go to 66.6 .6 degrees? I know, it's at 669. Dude, is it gonna go to 66.6 .6 degrees? Dude. It looks like it's gonna Dude, go. Dude, it's gonna and go. It, and it just spiked. Oh. oh. I went up. I don't know why, it's getting really cold around my legs. He just said that, and we're talking about the fucking cold. 66.6 six, six, six degrees. Is the devil again. giving us that Oh, sign. it spiked again. 66.6 six again. It's trying so hard to stay there. If the devil or the demonic is here, can you keep this temperature gauge on 66.6 .6 degrees? Hold it there. When I say this, I want to say this. I want to say this, and he's bringing up 666 as a message. Is this your message to us? It's holding it. It's getting better and better. Out. Should we get the jars? Yeah, because... Dude, the temperature literally went boom, boom, and then dropped itself to 66.6 .6 degrees. Seems like everything we've been getting the whole day... Was, How's was, that? How's, How's that? <laughs> Anything about the devil is the only thing we're getting throughout this whole freaking house today. Let's have him grab the jars. He knows where they are. Okay. That's cool. I don't yes. know if we've ever had the temperature be at 66.6. .6. But then he was saying, how's that to yeah. your message, bro? And when it got colder, he even said it. My legs are getting colder. Okay. Do you want to try with the jars now? Let's try with the jars. <laughs> he just got woke up. It's tough Dude. under there, huh? Yeah. No, like I was getting cold. My legs were getting cold. Yeah, and we were talking about the temperature the whole time, Do you remember what bro? the temperature was before you put the headphones on? No. 62.7. And now look at it. It was at 666. Going and six then you said, how's that? So it was getting cold, but it was like, at one point, even though even though we could blindfold them, it's quite dark. All of a sudden, when it started getting cold, it got really dark. I don't, you guys got lights out. 
No. Like, like this the whole time. Really dark, like like a dark cloud, yeah. Are you gonna try with the jars? Yeah, go on. Jesus. So there's actually pictures of people inside these. What? Yeah. In them, two like heads. you can see them. Yeah, so that sounds heads. more of a protection than a hex. Oh, sh you're right. It's like they wrapped a curse around those people. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Why else would you have a, an actual pentagram made of uh, yeah, twigs yeah. from outside? Stop. Well, luckily we're not in there. And then hide it in a chimney where someone was burned alive? You think that's for protection? No. No way. Are you mad that Dan's holding those jars? Or do you want us to open them? It's my baby. And 50 grand. It's my baby. Is your baby... Is there a picture of your baby in that jar? Okay, so 66 flat right now. Yep. Yep. Answering you. Correct. Yeah. To the bait? You said it's my... Is there a picture yeah. of my... Okay, yeah. wait. And it said, yep. Can we open those jars in Dan's hand right now? All right. See? He wants to talk to the us. The K2 meter on this actually spiked as well. Did it? Yeah. What's yeah. going to happen if we open up those jars? Have those. Have those. Have, have those. those. Yeah, have no. those jars. You said no. Do we take the jars to the attic? Do you want them? Screaming. Scream. Hey. Screaming. That connects back to the word downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who made those jars? Pillows. Pillows, yeah. Literally. Can you tell us what's inside of the jars? Emotional. Does your baby have something to do with the jars? Yo. Is your baby in the attic? Mm. At the tip. At the tip of the attic? Guys, it feels like there's something on my neck. <clears throat> Who's touching his neck? <coughs> Do you want your jars back? Come on. Come on. Come on and open them. Like, mm. hurry up, quit talking. That's why it's closing his throat down. <clears throat> I think they want. I really think they want us in the attic. Do you want us to open the jars in the attic? I just. Should we pull them out then? Mm. <coughs> oh, uh, like you're being choked? Yeah, yeah. Really bad. Like something in my throat. So I was seeing the maddest shit then as well. What do you mean you were seeing? Like, oh god, like, uh, so like, it looked like Aborigine people, right? And I was a vision, it was like the craziest visions, flashes, and it's every time it restarts and makes a loud noise. Yeah. It, it would, they would flash. Oh, it was so weird. What do you mean? So you were like seeing the <clears throat> people? Yeah, in every your head. time, every time that, that loud noise, mm -hmm. the, it would, yeah, it'd be like, it like a, like a two, two flashes of images. Yeah, it's so weird. Everything that you were saying went along with what we were saying, which wasn't much, but it was enough to make. There wasn't a great deal coming through that. There was a couple of bits, but it couldn't work them out at all. I didn't want to just shout yeah. them for no reason. What, what's very weird is we said what's in the jars and it goes my baby yeah and then it goes and 50 grand yeah so what was what would that mean and that was two different voices so it was, it was a girl's voice and then it was a man's voice yeah dude i i, I don't think we should mess with these jars go to 66.6 keep going come on Did it again though prove it oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah that's f tough Kind of weird. I think because it's draining you. Literally. I think you're getting drained by it. Yeah, all again. It's literally like calling us into the room. Yeah. It said wardrobe. Alphabet. Alphabet. Maybe it's talking about the Ouija board. <gasps> Dude, actually, 
Hell yeah. And there's a Ouija board up here. There, it said there's Ouija boards, boards up here. Up here. I can't even get into Elizabeth. Elizabeth. The tools are starting to break. What? Yeah, it no, works. Seriously. It works totally fine downstairs. But the odds of it is, is they're both not working. We Why? watched them work perfectly downstairs, and now they're both completely malfunctioning. Now they're just like straight up, they're not working like at all. Completely KO'd. Dead. 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 Yeah, they both are just <laughs> shut down. They're not working. They're dead. That's a <laughs> weird word. Are right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. The most serious EVP session we've ever done. Super serious EVP session. Part one, before I open the jars and we all die. Shut up. Alright, here we go. Three, two. Ancient Ram in the attic. Cuddle party. Who is Elizabeth? Is the devil here with us right now? That mirror is shaking by the jars. See it, Corey? The right side mirror is shaking. <laughs> Why? Right? Am I, am I no, it is. My mind it is. is shaking. It's, it's literally going like this. The right side mirror is vibrating. Who's shaking the mirror? Whoa. You heard that? I'm just watching the mirror shake and no one's moving. Is there still a succubus here? He wants to put us to sleep. Do you want to have just one person in this room alone? Downstairs, we asked what was in the jar, and someone said, my baby. Can you explain that? That mirror is just... <coughs> the mirror is just shaking and no one is moving. You good? Yeah, I... Because that's what's struggling with me. can hear it. My... You might as well... <sighs> They wanted thing. us here, so why? It leads up to here for something. You want to step outside? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go upstairs. Get a drink of water. Oi, listen to this. What did you just ask me? Elizabeth. You just asked me, has the name Elizabeth come up? Always does. <clears throat> she was an ex keeper's daughter that was murdered, and her body's supposed to be in the bar area. <clears throat> I'll show you what it is. I think he went. We think he's buried. Really? Yeah. I never ever like dip from a from an investigation ever. So it started when I was when I was doing the SS method, sat on the chair, it felt hot. And then I was like fidgeting, I could feel it getting like just more claustrophobic and I do not get claustrophobic. And then by the end of it, I took it off and I had to go to the corner room and like kind of like cough a bit. Like it like choke it up. I felt okay. I got up to the attic. As soon as we started that EVP, I'm led on the bed. We're all led on the bed. And it was like really tight on my throat where I'm trying my best not to cough. And that's why I was streaming. My, yeah, my eyes were streaming. Because I was holding it in because we were doing the EVP. I didn't want to ruin the evidence. So I'm trying to hold it in. As soon as it stops, I say, I, I just can't control it. I had to get out because I was panicking about it. I don't really panic. But then when that was happening, I had to get back down. How close did that happen to the name Elizabeth coming out? Five minutes, if that. The flux um, devices, are, they're, they're done. They're not working. And it came through saying dead. Then it said men. Yeah, we're about two minutes later, we started the EVP. So within a five minute time span. You got the Elizabeth name and yeah. you started to feel. Yeah. See, she was strangled. What? So I'm wondering if that's 
<coughs> and it was. Um, what? You said Elizabeth was strangled? Yeah, it was the husband that did it, man. Because she was having an affair with brother or cousin. Holy s. Right, we're gonna have to go and tell us yeah. this, because that's, that's some incredible shit. So, whoever is trying to harm Dan, have the courage and tell us your name. Is the devil here with us? Is there a reason that you wanted us in the attic? Do you know what's inside the jars? Who was the person downstairs that said screaming the devil to us? Is your intention to hurt someone tonight? If so, can you say hurt? Holy f No, that's a whole sentence. I heard hurt. Bro, let's play that back all what? slow. Like, okay, we just did it over there. Nothing. Yeah, but then I seen the K2 energy thing. That's Go what I'm saying. And then brought it over here. Okay, but it continued screaming while one of us. I've never talking. heard a scream that long ever, dude. <laughs> I I am the devil? No. Yeah. Right, so I went downstairs. The first thing, um... He said to me downstairs, "Is have you had the name Elizabeth come up yet? Shut Get the, the f out. out. Did he, he record that? Yep, yeah. hear me out. So he says, have you had? I said, yeah, why? He went, oh, it seems to come up a lot. She was found murdered here. How did she die? She got strangled to death. And I'm getting this. Holy <clears throat> Strangled no. by a husband. No. He says that, it says her name, and then I'm feeling like I'm getting strangled on the bed. And no wonder once it says dead men. It said you dead. Were murdered by your husband. Yeah. Bro, dead. that's the most fucking craziest connection ever. You I can't know. even make that what? up. I and mean, you don't even know. What said Elizabeth? That said Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth, right? yes. Yes. Said Elizabeth said joke. Yes. Men dead. The fucking odds of you going downstairs and he yep. goes, Have you heard Elizabeth yet? And that's what we just. And caught. there was no cuss. Like he just came out and he was like, Has Elizabeth popped up yet? And we're like, Yeah. To clarify, that's Paul, Paul. the site manager, who's right. just here while we're here. Right. It's not Chris from earlier, because Chris said bye earlier. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. Paul, who's just sitting in the office. Yeah. Way up in the corner. Away from us. Away from, like, polar opposite of us. Since we have your story in this, we ask Elizabeth questions or the yeah. strangler's name. Mm. We really tie it in now. Okay. Let's do it. Elizabeth, we know that you're trying to get our attention. Is there anything that you want to tell us? Elizabeth, can you tell us how did you die? Can you give me the name of the person that was trying to strangle me? The man that strangled Elizabeth. Are you up here with us right now? Were you screaming while being strangled and had your face covered with a pillow? Is that who you're calling the devil? Do you believe that the man that strangled you was possessed by the devil. It's kind of dark, but I wonder if she was pregnant. And that's what happened. My baby. <clears throat> were you pregnant when you were strangled?
No, no something at the end. It's like so close to giving clear, clear answers. But they're just screaming. It's like they're so angry. They're just screaming. Or that's how just like, if you don't know how to, I don't know, communicate directly, maybe that's how it's just coming through for us. Like, you know, like when we hear a different language, it kind of sounds like, you know, mumbo jumbo to us. Yeah. I wonder if that's what's happening here. Like we're trying to understand them, but it's just not. Mm Mm-hmm. Elizabeth, how old were you when you were strangled? To whoever we're talking to right now, can you please not yell or scream at us so then we can make out what you're saying so we can talk to you? Is the devil here with us? We recorded the entire time and then just stopped it right now. I just want to hear that. We recorded the entire time. Can we listen to that? Yeah, and then literally stopped it. That's tough. Yeah, I thought it was almost broken or off. What is it picking up? To whoever we're talking to right now, can you please never let this happen? And, uh, so then we can make out what you're saying so we can talk to you. I don't get that. What? It recorded the entire time. But we also know. were like, hey, don't scream anymore. So I wonder if it was just whispering that entire time. Mm. It could have been. What was the white noise it was picking up? Just like, Yeah, what was it? What was that consistent noise in the background? I don't know. All right, Elizabeth, one more time? Yeah. yeah. Is Elizabeth here? If not, Jar. Anyone is up here and you'd like to speak to us before we open the jars, could you please let us know? And we'll continue speaking to you before moving on. Elizabeth, are you after revenge for what happened? Whoever is still here talking to us or trying to, can you get closer and speak into this device that I'm pointing to and we'll be able to hear you? Who are you? Is there any way that we can help you, Elizabeth? I don't get it. Your device recorded the whole time? Recorded the whole thing. Bro, I've never seen anything like that. But why? Anyone can talk here. If you'd like to speak to us before we open the jar. Can you please let us know? We'll continue speaking to you before moving on. I actually sound like they're saying something. Hold on. I put in some. Yep. It's a girl. Yeah. It's saying something. <clears throat> Holy f. I can closer. Yeah. Is this saying the devil, the devil, the devil? I don't get it. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't know. Now it's like. Was it saying the devil? It sounded like the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. Like they're chanting it. It did sound like that. Oh 
Now it's working. Test, test, silence. Let's ask again now. Test, test. Yeah, it's working. It's yeah, totally, it's totally fine. It's working. Well, the difference is it was on the table. It was on the stool. It was on the stool. Oh, and you're holding it. No, so I'm holding it. Is oh, it no. the table? Take it's it back, like put it back on like the, the energy in the table. If that makes any. On the stool, it worked fine. Over there, it worked fine. The stool it worked fine. In my hand, it worked fine. What is on with this? It's the it's. The I put table. all my dear sixties on tables when I do it too. In my hand or my table. Never seen this yeah, before. Yeah, same thing downstairs. We put it yeah. on the table. I know, but it's like. What is with this table? This table's yelling. Something is attached to this table. Someone. This is probably where everyone uses the Ouija boards. Hold it again. With it on. <laughs> what? How? It's, it's literally the table. When I picked it up and stopped here. Ready? Watch. I'll prove it. Alright, this is now in my hand. See, it's still in my hand. You're gonna hear it, cut the gap. It's just gonna go now, it's my hand, see, it's still in my hand. Charles? You gonna leave? Yes! Are you really gonna leave? Yes! Ugh. Oh, dude. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Everyone comment down below, Corey, you f suck. You ruin every video. You're gonna do that anyway. All you do is b okay? <laughs> No, you're disappointed. I don't want to open a devil jar. You're not opening it. I'm gonna. Be... I'm not gonna waste any more footage. Can you get the GoPro out of the bishop's room, though? Let's open the drawer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I come in real quick. I just grab camera, then leave, and I leave you alone. The f oh my god, it's all the way up there. I mean no disrespect. I mean no disrespect. I just grab camera then leave. And then I go outside. Cause I mean no disrespect. Which start first? The non pentagram one first. The one with that one. Okay. All right, try number one. Dude. <laughs> I actually might need Corey to help. It's open. Oh, it's multiple things. Branch of some sort. I'm really hoping the REM pod was gonna like go berserk. We opened it. Is there a proper way to open my jars? Are you upset that Elton's opening this jar right now? to be like a little doll. It's just newspaper. Yeah, that's it. Nothing. Should we listen back before I open the next yeah. one?
Whoa, hang on, what did that, what did that say? A lot of different so things, but I couldn't make them out. <clears throat> there was a lot of laughing. Yeah, I heard like hi and some other things. Oh, oh, right? they're crazy. What's up? They're opening the jars now. Yeah. Upstairs or e in the attic? Yeah. Yeah. And you've managed to escape out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the jar with the pentagram. That one opened a lot easier. I assume it's the same thing with newspaper. I think it is. Was that a pen? Oh, same thing, the little branch. Looks like a nice old man. Same thing, it's just newspaper. Oh, strange. So it's just, just opening the jar, I don't really see a point of breaking all the way apart. Unless the newspaper is just to make up the body. I think so, the actual yeah. binding and stuff. It's supposed to be like a, his own voodoo doll. Yeah, yeah, it's like a very small <clears throat> voodoo doll. Yeah. Is this a curse? Is Elton gonna be okay? Now that the jar has been opened, what's going to happen? Do you want us to put the jars home? back in the fireplace where they belong. Do you want us to leave this place for good? Is there something else you want us to do with the items in this jar? Something else that'll help you. Yes, put it back. Get that. The crazy thing is, is, is someone's came into the ancient ramen, they've put those in the fireplace without telling anyone why <clears throat> and when they did it and what the purpose is, but they did it anyway. Yeah. 
All right, Kyle, hit us. Um, I can pretty much explain why like nothing really happened too much when you opened it. Pretty much it could be multiple things, but what she was saying, which, uh, which it probably is, is like some kind of protection where it's in that jar and when you open it, it's not gonna affect us or affect this house or anything like that, but it's gonna affect them, those people. <laughs> <laughs> so you might have just f***ed those people over. Okay. But, but why, why would these people need protection spells via the that, fireplace yeah. of the bishop's room? Why not yeah, the I witch's know, right? room? That is very true. I'm like, not why, sure. why would you put protection in a place known for, like, demonic activity yeah. unless these are not great people. We have to ask the audience because they might know more about these rituals than, you know what I mean? It could have been a whole devil satanic ritual that they made a deal with the devil for protection, but we opened it and ruined their protection. So now it's going blue, but that's true, that's weird. What the hell's that mean? <laughs> what the f is this thing? You see that? Yeah, so your heart is... Is this weird to anyone else? What is it? Yeah, what is that? It's why is it? It's like, damn. Why is it going off like on my face, dude? Yeah, that is weird. Sixty-six point six, and as it gets closer to me. So all the evil that from the jar is now in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. You'd absorbed it. Can you bid it to someone else? That's the space? Sure. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, uh, oh. Nope. Uh, oh. You fucked up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's literally... No. Yeah, I don't want to be near that thing. Dude, like, fuck it's no. me. It is you. Come here. Uh, oh! <laughs> it's because it hit your nose. Yeah, it's not me. So. Yeah, it hit your nose, that's why. Dude, so what's going on with you? What is that? Bro, because you <laughs> opened up the jar! That's <laughs> <laughs> what it is! Come Yo, on. Devil! Come on. Give me the power! <laughs> You seem radioactive, right? Now. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Freaking four blue bars. I don't know, man. That's that's something not have... good. Dude, it's literally like my heart. Well, I guess your your soul would be center. It's true. I don't get it, guys. I don't get that. Like obviously, like you know what I mean. There's nothing here. Yeah. I don't know, man. You open the jars. And it's working only for you. So that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm going to the gym in the morning. Let's see if I'm strong. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Let me just throw three plates tomorrow. Yeah. I'm like, give me more jars. Yeah. It's happening the most at my eyes. Do you remember what they said to Queen Mary? So like when you have eyes behind your eyes. Right. Well, yeah, you you did that whole spell there too. Said the Queen Mary. So when you have eyes behind your eyes. Yeah, but it's going off most. Hmm. Right at my eyes. I don't know, bro. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get <laughs> Come on. I mean, you were the one that was there with the, the thing. You knew. So there's, there's... You were an accomplice. There's two jars, so maybe one's for you, one for me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. yeah, dude. <laughs> you were an accomplice, you knew. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry if I'm rebinding you. I don't know, but I will leave you here. Unless you're with me.